In 1672, Giovanni Cassini was the first to determine the distance to Mars. To estimate the distance, he used the parallax method. In order to use the parallax method, an object must be observed from two different points on Earth at the same time. Cassini was in Paris and his assistant Jean Richter had traveled to French Guiana in South America. Thus, Mars could be observed from two different locations at the same time and the parallax method could be used to determine the distance. In Paris, Cassini could observe the night sky and he spotted a distant star right behind Mars. Richter did the same thing on the other side of the Earth. When the two compared the results, they noticed that the distant star they had observed as being close to Mars wasn't the same. The distance between the two observed stars could be measured in degrees and a triangle could be made with Cassini, Richter and Mars in each of the three corners. This angle is the same as the distance between the two distant stars on the night sky. By dividing the triangle into two right triangles, the distance between Earth and Mars could be calculated by using the law of signs. The result Cassini arrived at was 87 million miles. This distance was both then and now difficult to fathom. As the telescope technology improved, the accuracy of the parallax method increased. Cassini's result have proved to be only a few percentage off the actual distance at the time of the observation of 93 million miles. The distance to the Sun was estimated by Aristarchus of Samos almost 2,300 years ago, but it wasn't until the 17th century the distance was measured by the use of the parallax method. Edmund Halley used the period of Venus transit where Venus orbit placed in between the Sun and the Earth to measure the distance. The measured distance gave rise to an astronomical unit, which is a distance equivalent to the distance between the Earth and the Sun. The distance to the other planets in the solar system is measured in astronomical units. To figure out how far the planets are from the Sun, the parallax method can be used but also by a method that predates Cassini's discoveries of the distance to Mars by almost 50 years. Johannes Kepler had observed that the planets moved faster the shorter their orbital period. Today we know that the closer to the Sun the planets are, the faster they move. Kepler realized that the distance, measured in astronomical units, cubed, divided by the orbital period, squared, would give a constant that was nearly identical for all the known planets in the solar system. The relation between orbital period and distance became known as Kepler's third law. Both the parallax method and Kepler's third law can be used to measure the distance to the planets. Kepler's third law have even proved to apply to the orbits of exoplanets. The parallax method, however, is useful not only to measure distances to the planet. The distance to the nearest stars in our galaxy can also be determined by the parallax method. The Earth diameter, however, is not large enough to prove credible results. Instead, the entire Earth orbit have to be utilized. A star is observed twice with an interval of half a year, like the method used by Cassini to measure the distance to Mars. Distant stars are used to find the distance to nearby stars. This method is used today by ESA satellite Hippocus and Gaia. Between the two satellites, distance to over a billion stars have been measured. Thanks for watching Gotrick Science Channel. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on an update. Please write a comment below and please let me know what new subjects you would like to see explained. Follow Goodrick on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Pinterest. The links are in the description.